Tesla Giga Berlin's construction speed is Giga Shanghai 2.0. In this report, I'm going to explain to you why we think Tesla Giga Berlin's construction speed is like Giga Shanghai by 2.0. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell and so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Eva Fox has a very interesting report from the Tesmanian.com based on our friend Jurgen's uh, uh, recent video of showing the speed and the uh, update and the news from Giga Berlin, uh, the, the drone video from Giga uh, uh, Jurgen, who uh, tweets at G GF for Tesla on Twitter. Uh, Eva writes that the construction of Tesla Giga Berlin is progressing at a consistently rapid space. Uh, I'm sorry, at a consistently rapid pace. Indeed, I have been reporting Tesla Giga Berlin since the beginning of 2020, since they started, since Tesla started the construction. And I don't, except one or two instances and objective instances, I don't remember any time that the construction has slowed down. One time it was the beginning when the, uh, there were opponents and uh, uh, complaints about Tesla leveling the forest and the judge had um, uh, slowed down and halted the construction of Giga Berlin. That was only for a week or so. And then the second time I remember it was slightly slowed down when Tesla had to redo its planning and of uh, to preserve groundwater and so on. So only those times. But other than that, the construction of Tesla Giga Berlin is progressing at a consistently rapid pace. The company and its German construction partners, uh, mainly uh, Max Bock, rely primarily on precast concrete elements for extremely high construction speed. This is prefabricated materials using prefabricated materials that are brought by train to Giga Berlin and immediately start uh, going up in the walls. This allows building even faster than in China. Then Eva Fox continues saying less than 11 months should elapse from the groundbreaking ceremony to the completion of construction in Grünheide. This is how long it took Tesla to build its factory in Shanghai. It took exactly 11 months. According to Ivan Horetsky, who is responsible for the construction of Giga Berlin, the factory is currently about 20% complete. Although initially slated uh, to start production in mid-2021, uh, Tesla should be ahead of schedule and start production in early 2021. We know that Tesla always uh, would prefer to, it's safer to say we will start into mid-2021, it's summer 2021, and then we see that the first uh, Model Y electric crossovers rolling off the assembly lines uh, in the beginning of 2020, maybe early spring, or or even sometimes at the end of February. We will see, maybe that's too optimistic. But I remember several months ago, I reported a story that was uh, written in the German language uh, Business Insider, the German edition, that the, the, the title was something like this, that Tesla Giga Berlin will open for business uh, by the end of 2020. Now, I don't know what exactly it means, and they didn't specify what exactly it means, but uh, it may be that people already doing inside work, some um, operational work is done, and maybe some um, production already, like test production at some in the drive unit starts working at some assembly lines going on uh, i don't know but we will see how things go by the end of december now the most active building in tesla giga berlin under construction right now is the drive unit all the walls except for the western one are practically finished the western wall is uh, wall is also nearing completion the roof of the drive unit at giga berlin is already finished and almost completely insulated 
Now, um, you are seeing this video and images from our friend Jürgen, who I said tweets a GF for Tesla. You can follow him. He's one of the great people who are helping us to chronicle Giga Berlin since the beginning of the uh, construction and leveling of the trees and compunction and so on. Now, uh, construction at the paint shop also continues. Now, there are more uh, walls than there used to be uh, only a few weeks ago. The roof um, of the paint shop and uh, the roof covering continues at the paint shop and we can see that it's almost done. Giga Berlin will get the world's most advanced paint shop using the new painting technology. Tesla cars will have a special, attractive and lively look. Giga Berlin will have an advanced paint shop which will be able to apply paint in three layers. Several layers of paint give the color a realistic depth which makes the colors brighter than possible with traditional paint system. Now, does any one of you, how many layers of paints um, the paint shops uh, give at Giga Shanghai and at Giga uh, and in Fremont factory? I don't think they, they probably give several layers right now, do they? But it looks like at Giga uh, Berlin, it will start this advanced paint shop with several layers of paint, which will give it a realistic depth and make colors brighter than possible with traditional paint system. So if any one of you knows what the traditional paint system currently in the automotive industry is, please let us know in the comment section below. It will be interesting to read and uh, know about these things. Now, the equipment for the world's most advanced paint shop at Giga Berlin will be supplied by Geiko Takisha. Um, Geiko Takisha became the first company in the world to offer a paint shop with zero environmental impact reducing consumption by 70 percent i reported about this company i think yesterday or the day before so check back my full, uh, previous report about uh, giga factory in the paint shop and the paint shops in, in, in equipment coming into the giga factory with to, to get the all details about this uh, italian company that comes from italy now the body in white building continues to go up at a very quick pace all pillars have already been installed and the roof frame is being assembled. Part of the roof is already covered and even insulated. Um, Eva Fox uh, from the Tasmanian also continues explaining based on Jürgen's video that judging by the way the construction at Giga Berlin process is going, it seems that the building will go up using the same technology as the drive unit. Most likely, the building will receive all walls first, except for the western one. The west side will have two floors and truck rooms. Now, the installation of footings for uh, casting area already continues. The process requires special attention as the building will house eight giant die casting machines known as giga presses most of the footings are already installed though it may take up to two weeks to fully complete the steps the installation of the pillars for the general assembly seems to have been completed and the roof structures are now being installed according to preliminary estimates of german politicians tesla may receive final environmental approval as early as mid December when the approval for the entire project comes is closely related to the development plan procedure both should be signed and sealed in May mid mid December said minister for economic affairs of uh, labor and energy of Brandenburg York Steinbach so as you can see a lot of process and the most important thing that I wanted lear I, I learned today is that uh, according to Ivan Horetsky who is responsible for the construction of Giga Berlin the factory is currently about 20% complete. Although initially slated to start production in mid-2021, Tesla should be ahead of schedule and start production in early 2021. How early? Let me know in the comment section below, friends. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And also please note that I'm still recruiting for more Tesla reporters 
for torquenews.com. You can see all our Tesla stories daily at torquenews.com slash Tesla. And uh, if you like writing about Tesla, if you like writing about the upcoming uh, Tesla battery day, please let us know and uh, contact me using through using my contact information in the about section of our Torque News YouTube channel. And uh, if you wish, send me a sample story on a current Tesla topic uh, for consideration and we'll take it from there. Thank you, friends. Have a wonderful rest of the day, wherever you may be in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon or evening. And peace be with all of you. God bless you. And I'll see you in our next report. See you soon.